Hey, this is Trent Cotney, CEO of Cotney Attorneys and Consultants, and this is another industry update. It's all the legal HR and safety news you need to know in five minutes or less. Uh, first thing I want to talk to you about are the potential for tax increases. There's been some discussion about paring down some of the 199A deductions for S-Corps and LLCs. These are commonly referred to as pass-through uh, companies. So what that means is that if you are set up as an S-Corp or a limited liability company, that you may have to pay more taxes. Okay, Express your concerns to your local representative and senator uh, about this potential issue. Second thing I want to mention to you is that the material volatility and supply chain um, problems continue to dominate construction. Recently, on June 8th, the Biden administration issued a report. It is entitled Building Resilient Supply Chains, Revitalizing American Manufacturing, and Fostering Broad-Based Growth. Okay, in there, they focus on a lot of the uh, key components, uh, critical minerals and metals. Uh, they focus on semiconductors and several other things. But there's a lot of very interesting information on there about uh, how to potentially shore up strategic weakness in these areas and how to revitalize uh, our supply chain to prevent these types of problems from happening. I encourage you to take a look at it. Uh, I will post a link in the comments on how to get to it. Uh, next thing I want to mention to you is uh, something that could potentially help our, our workforce issue. The biggest problem in, in construction right now, right behind the material shortages problem, is lack of skilled labor. It continues to, to be an issue. Um, we've recently had a lot of discussions with uh, U.S. Representative Troy Nels uh, out of Texas. Um, he has advocated for what's known as a second chance opportunity and reentry education, um, which what that does, that act, would allow um, training for those that are incarcerated for nonviolent inmates to give them the technical and workforce training so that when they get out or they are on um, have access to the workforce again, that they have developed skills and could potentially be reemployed. Again, I think anything that potentially brings good workers into our industry is, is worth considering. And uh, I encourage you to follow, it's uh, House Bill 3529. Um, so very interested in that. I think it's a great way for um, you know the potential to get people back into our industry. So stay tuned for more on that. Uh, as always, if you guys have any questions for me or you want me to address anything on these industry updates, Send me an email, tcotney at cottonycl.com or go to our website, cottonycl.com. Uh, stay tuned next uh, couple of weeks for another industry update, and we appreciate you guys. Thank you.